Hey guys, this makes me extremely happy because I just figured out one thing and I'm gonna give you an early look into what I'm going to do with that Postgres in Node-RED. And there is a more than one reason why would you like to have an SQL-based database on your Raspberry Pi, but since I already covered time-based databases like Grafana, uh, no, like InfluxDB, and to use a Grafana to extract that information, I wanted something that allows you to do something else with it. If you don't know, time-based databases are brilliant for storing data from sensors that are basically ordered along the timeline. But if you ever wanted to store something like how many apples John has versus how many apples uh, Mary has, then you're probably not going to use the time-based database at all. And this is where Postgres comes in because it's very flexible and reasonably decent. And that's how I'm going to use it. You're probably going to recognize this uh, dashboard, a very similar dashboard, from my article about thermal benchmark tests that I've designed myself for the purpose of testing um, Raspberry Pi enclosures. And there is a whole write-up uh, on in the description as well if you're interested in it. But since that was all basically displaying on the charts in a specific order, so if I did a test in the past, like yesterday, and I did a new one today, there was no really an easy way to stack them and overlaying in any meaningful way. And that's what the new design kind of allows you to do. So I'll give you a sample. So there is a table in here. So each time I have a test done, which you can start obviously from here and I'll start the test, it will load up into your table of completed tests. And these tests then can be loaded into that interface. So this chart up here is just a current chart of what's going on. And as soon as you're gonna start your test, uh, it will save to your pull, well, it's the test finished. It will save you to the pull of tests already completed. And now if I'm gonna click on the test, the idea being that it will display a test that I've clicked on. If I click it again, it will deselect the test. And if I select multiple ones by clicking on it, it'll keep loading the results. And the best part of it is that all the charts are one-to-ones. If I ever had a benchmark with different CPU usages and different temperatures, now I can stack them together. And yeah, I'm super happy about it. So uh, this is a snippet of how the work in progress usually looks like in Node-RED. I know it's, uh, it's, it's, it, it's a bit, but uh, in a tutorial, it's gonna be a little bit easier to kind of get into it. And I promise it's not that difficult, but in general, uh, I store most of the information about the test in the database, uh, pull only specific information to throw it in a table. And then when, they, uh, when I click the table, the information from the database is being loaded and all those values being pulled from the database and displayed on a chart. I am super excited. I hope you like that preview and uh, maybe that will inspire you to do something interesting with it. Obviously, the world is your oyster and you could do so much different things with it. But yeah, in my tutorial, I'm going to cover uh, aspects that I've covered in that demo. So until the next video, take care. Bye.